Hi everyone, welcome once again to the 24-Bit Podcast and today we are going to talk about something that we hinted to in our last episode when we were looking at the tech trends that uh, made January what it was. Uh, that was something that was happening at that time, around the time we were recording and it was the update that was rolling out to Loop customers. For those not in the know, NCBA Bank has a product called Loop, basically almost like a sub-bank that is entirely dedicated to, at least it used to be when it launched in March 2017, dedicated to a very young demographic. Uh, they used to call them the un- unbank yourself. They used to say that, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they were looking at young people and those things that young people piss young people off from the traditional banking industry, like going to queue in banking halls, uh, needing cards all over the place needing to like all the manual processes and all of those so ncba bank back then it was still cba before the merger with the uh, nic came up with loop it was a fantastic product a lot of us have been on board and we've discussed it on this podcast more than any other uh any banking other bank, product. yeah, yeah. We, or we fintech really, yeah, product too much, too much. because we are all yeah. big users and now um last month there was this big update they rolled out um the hope was that it will bring lots of value and everything instead what it brought was lots of noise from um big users for users enthusiast users or as somebody else called them evangelists so I'm with the evangelist in the house. They can introduce themselves. I'm Chenzo Emmanuel. It's on the It's on Nick and Ali. Good gentlemen, we are here to discuss loop, all things loop. So I'll loop it back to you. Dixon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the chief evangelist. Eh? Dixon, yeah. can you walk us through? Uh, I know you have very strong uh, comments uh-huh. about about the changes, but in a nutshell, like if somebody was to ask you what's new in loop in, in loop or the loop app or whatever loop is in under two minutes what will you tell them everything yeah somebody decided we're updating uh the product and you're making it uh, look different they did, when they were teasing you remember they started teasing a new loop is coming new yeah, experience yeah. they never hinted at uh the, it, it sounded like a redesign uh-huh. like you know, when it arrived after uh-huh. umetweka out for a whole weekend which was okay to go to share jipanga you bring a whole new platform uh-huh. yeah so now you're bringing a uh, loop light and loop pro yeah mm-hmm. light is for mobile money users so up to 300k you don't need a bank account mm-hmm. so they don't need a lot of kycs is of each other alafu pro is for bank account holders mm-hmm. and then a new ui cluttered new colors yeah. new ways uh, new m- words for things new icons so yeah loop is ev- the new loop is different in every way yeah, yeah. Well, in all fairness, at least now it doesn't look like Android Kenya. Anyway, Nick, <laughs> <laughs> what you, in a, in a, what now Dixon has shared with us in a nutshell, what's new in Loop? Uh, you're also a Loop user. From your experience, what have you seen that's new? The new thing I've seen is the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, the app is just so. Um, of course, we've had this conversation so many times. It's so chaotic. It's so cluttered. And of course, I mean, Loop is talking about the new, you know, new features they're introducing. But of course, something we're gonna be talking about later on is, is did the consumer really ask for this chaos, right? Is the consumer did the consumer really ask for a new app and all this? We're, other, we're coming there. Yeah, we're, we're coming, coming there. there. <laughs> I think uh, really a uh, new thing, really nothing other than just I think what we've complained about. Yep, yeah, it's same old Loop. Good, Dixon. I'll come back to you, uh, yes. or t- to use the proper lingo. I'll look back to you. Anyway, <laughs> the reason you are a person of interest is because you wrote a very interesting blog post. And for those who are listening, not in the know why we do this podcast, is because we come together, the three of us, we cover tech, and we come together to discuss some of the stories that we cover frequently. So they could be topical, they could be trendy, they could be everything. So once in a while. So Loop One, not only is it a product that we use, but it's also in this case, um, some of the strong reactions from the customers have been led by one of our own. Dixon wrote a very comprehensive article on his blog, which you can go read, outlining one, the changes, two, the grievances by the customers, and three, what could have been and what really is 
Um, the title of the blog was NCBA Loop Update, a masterclass <laughs> on how to annoy, annoy customers. customers. <laughs> so this blog has been read far and wide. I mean, various WhatsApp groups that I don't monitor often, but when I took time to go back to those WhatsApp groups uh, one evening, I found that it was the talk of town and we did get an immediate reaction. The Loop CEO went on another podcast and did try to clarify some of these issues, brush off some of the concerns, and all of those things. Um, a pilot, a customer doesn't know what they want. I know. <laughs> I was like, I mean, the customer, really? I was like, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Dixon, having written all of this, um, and all of it was centered, uh, of course, on your own experience. Mm. Uh, tell us first, and what is it like using Loop today? Yep. Uh, that is different from using loop say in December because the changes have just come in January, January we are in February yeah. mm. yes my biggest problem right now is uh being someone who has centered his life around loop loop is where I receive payments loop is how I pay loop is how I do everything so shifting from loop to another bank so shifting from bank to bank is always a problem yeah so bado ku shift ni kitu I am thinking about because the biggest problem sai ni sign in yep. you come mm. and you your shida? Yeah. Mm. normally the previous loop it's it uses yeah. eh hey, hey, ungefika ufinye fingerprint ama uweke face id iji sign in sai the app itself uh, the system on android and on uh, ios haikumbuki password mm. there is no place to remember password so each time i have yes, to put yes, that yes, i don't yeah. know if you experience it yes that. it's, it's yeah. the same case for me i yeah. actually have to rely on what is that google tool Oh yeah. Uh, uh, lock lock uh-huh. something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you remember the password? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So saya ikumbuki password. I I am not complaining as in uh the same way yenye nitasemaje. For example, if you use the Mpesa app and you lo- and you go away, yeah, you'll yeah. have to put the pin to use it again, Cindy. That's not the case. He upper the case is ukifungua hivi you have to sign in again. again yeah. Now nah, normally it will pick the password from your saved passwords. Hakuna mm-hmm. your option. So each time I have to key in the password. Two, finding the biometric settings ya ku enable fingerprint ama face id for payment si you kama mmepata iko hidden mm-hmm. unaenda kwa profile picture una scroll kwa settings unaenda si kwa nini ndio unapata mm-hmm. biometric features Three, kulipa stress <laughs> honestly why would you put pay by code yeah. yo mtu akiguza apate loop mpesa pay bill mpesa nini mm-hmm. so you just say pay yeah. mm-hmm. because pay by code sounds like something different Four. The two sections on the app make no sense. Pale kwa apps na pale pa nifungue tu. Kuna kuna tabs chini pale. So kuna home tab. This 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 L thing. Yes. <laughs> eh, kuna home tab na kuna apps na kuna nini nyingine? Home that uh-huh. L thing then apps. Yes. And then up there there is all these features, these newest these yeah. offers and there's BNPL which from my understanding is buy now pay later. <laughs> but which uh, which my uh, my 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 brother who just completed from four and joined such a product will not even know what that is anyway mm-hmm. anyway and then up there yeah, yeah. Uh, when yeah, when you click yeah. the the loop thing mm-hmm. you got you, you get to have malls supermarkets pharmacy yeah. shops so hapa chini kuna home store. kuna l na kuna apps yeah L iko na deliveries restaurants bars liquor store nini mm-hmm. they're not even work they are not working enda kwa apps experience more with loop health mobility insurance utility sacco loyalty they are not working <laughs> so all that is working for on the app right now is the look, home uh, yeah, look like app, place kuna padlock ukiguza padlock you have to input your you pin. have to input your pin it takes a while aya and if you've you set my bio, accounts, biometrics you have to input your to fingerprint input, yeah. so unangojea my accounts unajiuliza payment ni nini because wewe ulikuwa unatumia loop kama bank mm-hmm. so sasa pesa yako kumbe iko kwa bank if you want to make a payment you have to transfer your money from the bank to your payments account to make a payment mm-hmm. if you want to uh like it's so weird if you want to view your cards what i like is you can create virtual cards you're charged around 200 bo- for a virtual card mm-hmm. kuna kitu inaitwa vo- my vouchers there is nothing unaenda kwa my id my id kuna mpaka option ya driving license written coming soon and why does it need my driving license in the first place i have I mean, no idea aya ah, If you want to send money, unakuja ukihit send money from the home page. Unaletewa to mobile to bank multipasson. Ukiguza to mobile, hizo vitu ziko hapo hivyo. Inakuleta send to self mm. instead of sending to others. Yeah. Ukiguza send to others, ukitaka hata contacts, you literally click thrice mm-hmm. to get a contact to send money to. Kitambo ilikuwa inajileta hapo juu. 
Aya, turudi ku send to bank. Send to bank. <laughs> Loop at TGS EFT visa. Kitambo ulikuwa ukiguza hivi at TGS it tells you mm-hmm. how long it will take and the charges. Sasa hii lazima uenter all this data ndio ufike kuona charges. Mm-hmm. Aya. If you want to view the transactions you've done. Yeah. Iko under loop life. It's not hata huku juu. Una scroll, unapita airtime, electricity which doesn't work, water, money pool transactions ndio una ndio transactions. Some of the transactions you've made don't appear hapa. For example, if you've created a virtual card and you pay say for Netflix na nini, those transactions won't appear hapa. All my Uber transactions has just appeared bado from the virtual card I created. If you had an investment with Loop, imagine finding where that investment is nili panic because ni Tanzania they lost that data. Mm-hmm. Kumbe iko chini chini under wealth management. Anyway, those are what I am complaining about. It is ingine tu ni just finding your way around is the problem. Exactly. And I, I think I remember when I posted the same on my Facebook page, mm. the first question someone asked me I mean I mean in my caption was just I mean this is just it's so cluttered right eh. so someone was telling me just commented saying it's just so hard to find stuff yes mm-hmm. imagine article yangu ukisoma yote there is no way I nime complain your transaction charges mm-hmm. nilisema tu chini it will have been good but we all expected transaction charges to come back mm-hmm. but sasa the problem is the UI yeah eh Chenzi ulifanya informatics we did informatics. Ndio ni kwa sema hapo kwa human computer interaction hata lecture wangu ange like now in line with those uh, whatever we did I was having a discussion with someone on Twitter and mm-hmm. on the day that the product launched because while I was aware there was a new loop coming because they had sent us notification telling us something is cooking they're doing migration over the weekend mm-hmm. so the app will be unavailable the entire weekend. I was like fine I don't use loop as frequently as other people mm. I'm not like Dixon whose life revolves around it <laughs> so I was fine then come Monday I tried to log into my old loop uh, app I found I nah, couldn't I, log in I took in. a screenshot and shared on Twitter somebody came told me no uh, that app is dead dead mm. it's not working and they changed their username yeah, to Twitter uh, yeah. so you couldn't even fi- on Monday you couldn't even find yeah we are used to attend CBA loop then it was uh, loop, loop KE e, 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 yeah uh, Uh, somebody told me no nope, that app is dead dead it's no longer working you have to go fully to the new app and then i was left there wondering what kind of a transition is this because yeah. uh, in fact it's not even college in high school uh, mm. in computer classes in high school we were, mm. we were taught about how to handle system changeovers mm. you could either do a parallel you could do a direct mm. you could even do a pilot yeah. those kinds of things and yes. as far as big enterprises uh, big apps go i've never seen a direct changeover mm. this was the first mm. while uh, the architecture behind it like there is a technical reason why they went the way they did yes. um, and the explanation that i've been able to source so far is that they switched to vendors mm-hmm. uh, and so they went to a new vendor and because of the security and all of those systems they had to just switch off one and go to the other while there's that Um, I listened to the podcast where the CEO of Loop was being interviewed and he said they are the same people behind them Shwari and the Mpesa yeah. app and those things and I'm like okay fine now that you say that the Mpesa app the transition was handled so well, so well. The, yes. the 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 app mm. for us who, are, who tend to uh, have privileged access to some of these mm. things before mm. go out had early access you remember there was a, uh, yeah, 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 there was a very publicized by public it uh, lasted uh, over eight months yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we had so for almost a year yes. for almost a year yeah. the mpesa app was there and yeah. we were writing articles about yes. it as if it was the main version but yeah. it still wasn't mm. it was still under testing you could still use and features were slowly introduced yeah. you remember yeah, yeah. i i Even have global, so many articles global on, took a long yeah. while to come i have so many articles on mpesa app on techish where you'll find Ensure is now on Mpesa app. Mm-hmm. NHIF is now on Mpesa app. Yeah, DCB yeah, Ensure yeah. is now on Mpesa app. Yeah. They came for the DSTV all yes. of those. Uh, yeah, but uh during that like and to date Safaricom keeps the main my Safaricom, yes, Safaricom app, app. app which has Mpesa features built in mm-hmm. and the Mpesa app and it's created a distinction and those things just work well. Mm-hmm. Now, staying with the NCBA after their merger, a lot of the products still worked. Mm. If you are an IC customer, mm. if you are a CBA customer, Everything. a lot a lot of the things you are used to still remain. Uh, I was already a CBA customer mm. before the merger. Mm. Things weren't so rosy for an IC customers. I mm. remember seeing the complaints. Mm. 
but on the CBA front my everything. all interfaces because okay. of mm-hmm. internet banking and everything mm-hmm. continued working for months mm-hmm. and then one day all of them stopped working but uh, i had it no is, issues uh, the same links worked but now with this new black. ncba uh, blackish uh, interface and everything so i was there wondering uh, when i found out i couldn't log into my app why couldn't they just figure out a way of transitioning transition, me easily yeah, i understand yeah. there are technical challenges mm. and there's a way technical things are done but the whole point is you don't design those things for yourself you design those things for oh, an ordinary uses. user because the scenario that was playing out on that monday was there are people whose lives center around loop their money is on loop and they couldn't and they transact the after a weekend yeah. of not having, having access, access to their money, money. Yeah. so i was there thinking figure out you need to fuel your car your money is in loop Imagine you're going to work to pay via loop yeah, yeah. like yeah. all of those it and was remember, a mess let me let me actually reiterate Koninata, i i felt really bad Uh, my card expired in November. Mm-hmm. My Loop card, mm-hmm. physical card. I remember tweeting about it and being told Loop is migrating to a new platform, so you'll have to wait until the new platform wow. is ready to get your card. Mm-hmm. So I don't have my card. Mm-hmm. The app is down, mm-hmm. and on Monday a new app is there. You can't log in yeah. to that app, so you don't have access to your cash. Your card is expired, so you can't swipe it, mm-hmm. and you have a new app in your Nambu login to. It doesn't work. <laughs> When you finally log in, you don't know where to pay, you don't know where your investment is, you don't know <laughs> nobody told you you have to move cash between your wallet yeah, and yeah. your bank. So you can imagine how people are feeling. The other thing, um still staying with the we we've talked about the HCI aspect, we've mm. talked about the first change hours. The, it seems there was little consideration for the user. Mm-hmm. And the entire transition from the old loop up to the new loop app and product and experience because the explanation we've since had is that loop is moving from how we used to know it to something totally something different else, uh, that transition wasn't really handled in a yeah, in a customer centered way it was handled, just texted people yeah uh, it was handled in a very technical way yes. like the the way you'd handle if you have three, three customers uh, not if you have three million customers customer. yeah. imagine if they just texted same at once in november we will be transitioning to this yeah. this and this you mm-hmm. can test it out mm-hmm. over here you know and make it a slow process imagine you know, make it, if uh, ata 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 tuseme wangeifanya direct when you meifanya but you open the app yeah. and you find bank mm-hmm. wallet yeah. so you go away when bank mm-hmm. so you continue with the use a platform mm-hmm. you're used to from that ui what mm-hmm. wallet ndio wanatupo kwa email singine yeah. but they did not bother about that now you want to acquire new customers because the wallet feature is to acquire as many customers as possible yeah. to just be a money uh, a platform for sharing money payments na bit mm-hmm. you want to acquire new customers when you already We make a series of your old customers the reviews of the new app if you check out on yeah, app store really on uh, play store they are really bad so how will you convince someone to join that app a new customer when they go to download and find that uh, those are the reviews because i think one thing i think i always uh, even by even asking even uh, during when, when we were watch i was watching that podcast you know mm-hmm. that day i remember just you know i comment asking like did the customer really ask for this yeah. mm. No, they Let say the customer doesn't need to. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> customer doesn't know what, what they, they want. want. Yeah. Um that is usually true in some scenarios and mm. it's also not true in other scenarios. In this case, yes. it was not true. Mm-hmm. For instance, it's not the first time that we are seeing a bank cater to people who are not its core client base. Right. Uh-huh. Today you can wake up and decide I'm going to pay fees uh, for my brother and assume I wasn't an equity bank customer. Equity mm-hmm. will still give me sell to me a banker's check yeah. Yeah. and I'll have a very smooth experience. Mm-hmm. All of that without antagonizing equity banks other customers. Other customers yes. It's the same thing like I've had prepaid cards from DTB uh, before I started banking with NCBA I had prepaid cards from them. Mm-hmm. I've had prepaid cards from IAM mm-hmm. all without being a member of those Yeah. banks mm. i've had access to their apps i've had access to their uh, web interfaces to mm. allow me to manage that of, mm. all of that without ruining the user experience for other customers for the other mm. customers who are already on that bank and who or, or those other products and for whom it's their mainstay the same approach could have been thought here because i'm here thinking yes there are lots of people out there who could benefit from buying kplc tokens right. from 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 loop but for somebody else who was using loop as their bank they don't need to know about that and interact with that aspect it it doesn't like, need to be front and center yeah, yeah. someone who 
That's like, what, uh, like uh, there's a way you could log in and you uh, just go to the things the, that you're was used to. Uh, yeah. The same way you go to my Safaricom app and you just go to what you are yeah. there for. Actually, there are lots kuna of things on my Safaricom that we don't use. Kuchas, yeah. Kuna nini, but you always just go to what you want. The By the way, you I, can even pay for a safari on my Safaricom app. Yes. But you can not even buy that. a ticket a Jumbo Jet on the M-Pesa app. Yes. But ziko huku chini. Yeah. The main things are send money, pay, nini hizo. And that's front and center. I, I don't I don't understand. For example, I'm not annoyed about the f- fact that you can add virtual cards. Mm. I'm not annoyed by the fact that you can add mobile numbers to this app. Mm-hmm. So you can have different mobile numbers to your loop apps so that when you want to pay, it prompts your Mpesa the SDK push. Is only to poor sana, but the app interface yenyewe is very annoying. You can't even know you can do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Adding a bank card ya yeah, another bank to your loop sounds like a very good idea mm. but do you know that from the interface does it allow you to even think of that because all you're thinking about is my previous experience was way better than this actually yeah. the customer journey is very distorted yes. because yeah. you don't know I, I remember I read your blog post before I used the app yeah. and when I started using the app I found myself asking where is, where is this? this because <laughs> of the yeah. pitch in names um yeah. there's an equally terrible banking app the stanchard app <laughs> And and the Stanchard app has been on a journey of trying to rectify the naming because oh, what yeah. they did is um Stanchard I think they just replicated the app that they have in other markets because Standard Chartered is global, global and they brought it here so somewhere along the line they threw in mobile money payments maliuko mm. and the payments and it used to be a mess mm. and they've been working around to getting uh, Stanchard the app is still crap and mm. all of those things even though the bank has very good services the app is still crap but Loop has moved from having very a model good. app yes to having a stanchard like app where you need to ask i remember spending a whole day even going to the westlands branch before they closed it the the one next to westlands square the one at westlands square before they closed it for something that was in the app that i didn't know to use that's the stanchard app oh, and spending time on the on the phone and even writing emails and then a year later i did the same same thing because of how they've implemented uh, their pass keys and all of this and it's a whole mess i having that experience i don't have the same experience being passed on to somebody so, else because uh, on loop they, they added new features yes fine the new features might work for some people they might not work for some people it's okay but they uh, bungled how they handle the new features they bungled the transition and the ceo apologize apology taken good but then no one gives a damn about the customer journey okay. at all but you know one thing is I mean, do this really some of these brands when when they are doing the transition they change from from an old app do they really care about the customer experience like really what the customer wants Mimi, because uh, even when i was watching that podcast uh, i mean they see you could answer those questions right uh, no one seemed no one uh, when when and this is something i've uh, i've just come to acquire from reading books and my own experiences with people's products is when you in a product role one of the things you should always do is think yourself as the end user mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and if you're in a team at least a few of you in the team should be thinking of themselves as the end user and constantly championing for the user who's not yeah. in that room mm-hmm. uh, there are enough stories from silicon valley about how other people do it where when they're in a meeting they'll have a blank chair and they tell everyone else that blank chair is for the customer yeah. so that their needs and wants are listened right. uh, like yeah um and from a tech background the customer is not what comes front and center especially an end user our idea of a customer normally is usually if say uh, i work at safaricom i have a client as a bank my idea of the uh, of the client and the custom is just the bank not the end user not the, end user, not the no. person that the bank also yes. serves uh, there should constantly be someone who thinks about, about the, the person end, uh, the end user the person who consumes this thing at the tail end of it so if you are doing a skiza tune uh, or if you're doing bulk sms to an enterprise at the end of the day an ordinary kenyan will interact with that what will their overall experience be, be like. somebody needs to champion that yes that somebody appears to have been missing in whatever in loop i uh, was doing because um if they're the same people who've hacked uh, them surely things and everything mm-hmm. and they, when you look at the products that have come from that other side mm-hmm. you can see that somebody thought about the end use true in the case of loop with all these complaints which might uh, there are so many you might think there's a coordinated campaign or a coordinated attack against loop mm. is because no one thought about that user and in fact it's taken another horrible bank for loop 
ituondoke mdomo ni kwetu uh, iko it has its own book <laughs> <laughs> and it's the reason it's the reason uh, we've temporarily forgotten about a uh, loop and the mess but still people can't log in and there are all of those things but you see i know this was mentioned them earlier you see like what what safaricom did with the mpesa app and you said it earlier you know of course you launch a new app but again you keep introducing features because there's no way you just roll out a feature mm-hmm. alafu ifanyi kazi like do we need to have all this cluttered you know in um, no. and they're not even working i've i've i've, I've let you guys uh, ramble on and on and share your pain points in the new loop my problem with the new loop is not even all those things we've said yes i can get accustomed to new customer journeys and new uh, new new names and everything is everything that was wrong with loop in the first place wasn't addressed mm-hmm. Like you have this big new swanky update good you are looking to revolutionize the product and take it beyond its core user base because when it launched like I said at the beginning of the podcast uh, loop was targeting young people and all of those right now I have no idea which targets but it never addressed all the problems I had with the app uh, we still can't clear checks on loop or oh, checks or not <laughs> and here's the other bit uh, now you pay for loop to loop The transfers right yes transfers from loop to loop why structure. uh on these Imagine other banks a bank on these other banks from your bank to your other bank on these other banks i am uh, i don't pay to do bank to same bank transactions so on a very futuristic product like loop a very forward thinking product like loop a why do i they say they want to take to the african yeah market. because loop uh, is domiciled at ncba loop mm-hmm. is supposed to be the one thing ncba has that is unlike every other thing they have they have like them disrupting themselves now we are paying again uh, well, and I, then the other bit is it would be fine if that was the case before it's a new introduction it's a new introduction you you've had customers you've umewazoesha this is what you do mm-hmm. Yes there could be transaction charges here and mm-hmm. there nini nini but if you're using loop to loop it's free if you know how how seamless it used to be when uh, you could uh, deposit money uh-huh. to, to your loop account yeah. and just, so just pay, with a prompt from the loop app yes, itself uh, that was so, so ahead of uh, the time uh, now you yeah. have you ho- you want customers to be charged when moving cash to your bank because you're not a mobile company mm-hmm. where people can deposit you don't have agents mm-hmm. you don't have nini sindio mm-hmm. so you want people to move cash to your bank account via charges sindio unless mm-hmm. they walk to your atms mm-hmm. and how many loop atms exist ah, yeah. after mtu ameweka pesa hapo you want them now to move it from their bank mm-hmm. to their wallet eh, i i had i had the CEO try to say why they created that distinction and i you know that first part emoji that was me <laughs> at that time because um he, he, he tried to explain it bec- uh, at the, uh, uh, the financial services industry regulator that is the central bank of kenya mm. regulates the two things they are doing differently. differently if you're on the bank side of the app you are how yeah. they treat you as you per the laws of the land the, is supposed uh, to be different uh, from how these other people well who nice. just come for utilities and these are services mm-hmm. they are mm-hmm. offering mm-hmm. are treated while i understand that loop is not very unique they are not the first people to mm-hmm. be offering what they are offering yes uh, i get all every, so many everything i've tried to build a super yeah uh. everything they are offering i still get on equity mm. imagine on equity you can go and send money via whatsapp without interacting, interacting with any with of the app. Mm. so i can do the same things on equity i can do the same things on stancher so there is nothing unique that loop is doing mm. on equity and on stancher i never have to think about all those things and imagine loop, I, i can uh, just send money from my equity account mm. to you dixon or to and you don't care directly about yeah i don't care about what goes on behind yeah. the scenes mm. i don't care about a distinction of moving my money from my bank account to obama to your wallet choosing to between wallet. which like, wallet you're using like those things don't exist there so no. why why is loop making us go through those loops exactly <laughs> when we I mean, when the pandemic was at its peak i remember you know some of us would complain about how our banks you know are mm. charging us But people were using loop, loop like okay now well, you, know, you, you remember yeah. how we were bragging yeah, that like, i can use my loop for everything, for everything free. but you know yeah. i am i'm just checking out the uh, the new loop twitter handle and vitu nasoma hapa in terms of reviews what wana piga kelele for example the most asked question is how to pay via mpesa like how Promoter why pay. shouldn't that be so busy? i am trying to lisa what's the difference between my wallet and my bank mm-hmm good valid question 
now uh, i'm going I, I i because we can ramble on and on and i want us to start winding yeah. i'm going to ask you two sets of questions um if you are in charge of this product what will you have done different nick i will have spoken to a customer first you listen to the customer what the customer wants uh two i would have make... what if the customer doesn't know what they want no the customer always knows what they want <laughs> Um, no, the customer, of, for example, the cust- I, I can agree on some things. Mm. The customer may not know what they want. Before I used Loop, did I know I needed Loop? When they introduced Loop, okay, yeah, I think yeah. we were among the first to sign yeah, up. I signed up for Loop because I was at the launch and yes. they gave us a USSD code yes. to sign up and it was yeah, very easy yeah. before even the app came. So yes. I just did. So we and then to Loop. I needed something to be paying for my Netflix with yeah. and the card came. Yeah. And yes. that was the incentive. Then we discovered that a whole There's world. a whole thing. For example, I signed up to Loop because of the interest rate. You save, you lock it for mm-hmm. three, six, nine months, mm-hmm. then you get interest. Nani interest poor. You remember the first two years they were doing crazy cashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so imagine I d- at that point, me, I did not know what I wanted as a customer. Yeah. Then you put me as your customer for how many years? Yeah. That's five years, I'm a six years. 2017 to now is six years. Yeah. Yeah. Then, unakuja una change everything in one weekend. Yeah. Now do I know n- not know what I want? Now I know what I want because I've u- I'm used to what you've been giving me for Especially six Especially money. We are very touchy yeah. with our money. Right now we have Safari Com Mali. It's so easy yeah. to move my pesa from there and weke Mali. It will earn even better interest. It can be d- withdrawn anytime. Loop, you had to wait 48, 24 to 48 hours to withdraw your investment. Mali unatoa, inasaonekana promote. Anyway, yeah. Mali unatoa free of charge. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yeah. So I, no, no, if it's a product that works, it works. Yeah, and yeah. if you're listening to this podcast, please tell us if you'd want us to discuss um, Mali and other investment yeah. options in the market. The fintech is not really our forte and those money things, but yeah. we can try since we, we are users we actually use, and yeah. we can find other people. Yeah. If you're listening and you're a player in the industry and you, you want can, to come uh, on the you podcast, can join. Yeah, yeah, just tell us. So for example, Sai, I don't need... companies think. I am moving my money from my Mpesa. <laughs> no, like think. Uh-uh. I am moving my money from my Mpesa to your bank. Mm-hmm. There is a charge and Loop has the highest charges mm-hmm. that Nini is uh, moving money to Mpesa. Right now they are not even at par with NCBA. The yeah, Loop yeah. charges are w- way higher. At a zile pay bill deductions and Nilizania will reduce the charges they don't apply to the Loop pay bill. So moving money to the to that account is way expensive, Cindy. Higher. Now payment, if I want to transfer to your loop account, I am charged. Yeah. If I want to pay via Mpesa, I am charged. If I want to, like Sasa, kuna transaction charges extra. Mm-hmm. So I'm big charged to move my money and to use it. Then, up in here, in any stress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it that in a back to a customer? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you come in a make sense? Yeah. Meanwhile, we have accepted Mpesa is expensive. Yeah. We've complained about Mpesa being ex- expensive for years. Mm-hmm. The charges are now quite reduced. Mm-hmm. Pay bill transactions are reduced. Mm-hmm. Uh the you unafanya within Mpesa is free. Mm-hmm. For example, moving your money to Mshwari, moving your yeah, money yeah, to yeah. ACB Mpesa, moving your money to Mali, they earn mm-hmm. interest, you mm-hmm. withdraw them for free. So, Mpesa, if I go to an agent and agents are everywhere, I will put my money there and it will be free. Mm-hmm. So I have my money on Mpesa for free. That's a higher point than loop because putting my money on loop attracts fees. Yeah. Uh, if I pay via uh, Mpesa pay bill, if I pay via till number, till number is free. Mpesa pay bill is way cheaper than loop pay bills right now. Mm-hmm. So where is it that loop has a, high, a higher product for me? No, no, how yeah. loop up yeah. makes sense. Yeah. It's no longer a higher product for me. One, they don't accept checks. Mm-hmm. So I am not even there for the check. Mm-hmm. But uh, they only ac- accept RTGS and EFT, which Mpesa does not. Mm-hmm. But I can find my workarounds with that because I, I am a KCB customer since I was a baby. Mm-hmm. So Unona, Loop is destroying a product that was perfect, pushing us to use another product mm-hmm. which we will use. And I am going, I am actually seeing it because. Mimi, my sister, Liniamia, Missy Jui, is a bit of a work. Yeah. Pesa yake hapo haiku kuwa mob. Alitoa. Alitoa. Mm. Eh. So, companies really have a nice... Pro- I think it's a bullishness. NCBA believes they have hacked the market. I'm sure Arif, Uliza. So, they can do what they want. And that's what I think they wanted to see. So, force it on people and they will push it. Because the board believes. See, we are market leaders. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Unless that's something else and I hope they will discuss it with us. But... That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, and maybe just you had asked about what I feel they should have done better. Yeah. And I think this one has touched on most of it, but I think also the transition, I think, is where Loop really failed and Sibiri mm-hmm. really failed on that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, the customer is a very important part of your business. Mm-hmm. Very, very important. Yeah. 
I mean, they should have borrowed a leaf from Master Faricom with the Mpesa app, right? You know, and we are like introduce to the same products. Yeah, okay, but we have other apps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kuna, I don't know a good example, for example. Uh, uh, equity, uh, let yeah, me yeah, tell you. Yeah, equity yeah, see, the, yeah, is uh, banking, uh, the transition from is it banking to Equity Mobile. I think I'm going to really switch back to Equity Mobile. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like, like that's easy banking was still working. Yes. What they did was you when you set up a new device, you could no longer go there. Go, uh, and uh, Equity Mobile, I've, I, I just updated my Reno 7 4G mm. to and with 13 last night mm. and my reno 8 uh, got updated i think i covered this in the blog the f- early weeks of january mm. i've never had issues logging in mm. equity just does that seamlessly behind the scene mm. with easy banking every time there was a new version of android mm. we'd need to give it a grace period equity rectified that pushed us to the newer product but kept the old easy banking exactly. working for as long as possible like imagine it kept if, on working uh, imagine if loop just kept the original mm-hmm. app working then you introduce loop light as an app mm-hmm. yeah so push it via notifications via web whatever you'll get reviews that the mm-hmm. new app working for themselves mm-hmm. and the old app in endelea work you want to introduce uh virtual cards introduce it to the app pole pole mm-hmm. you want to do nini nini do it pole pole don't make a successful product inferior yeah hey mm-hmm. Now honestly loop is an inferior product right now for me it used <laughs> yeah. to be a superior product but it is not eh yeah. yeah. I remember even for equity when we were I was actually I remember being part of the campaign that was actually pushing people to actually move from the old app to the new yeah. app I remember even when the comps we were pushing out it was like okay the app, the old app is still live mm. but you can move to the new app mm. pole pole you know as equity figures out how to maybe just you know remove the other app yeah mm. so I mean you, you see how I know that the transition process is pole pole as the customer gets to learn about the new app Um, or maybe you are looking at this wrong because if I'm to quote the CEO they are making a quote unquote brand change which will move a, a loop from being a banking brand to a digital platform and then to further follow up on his words um, loop going forward is no longer a banking service but a platform upon which banking also happens the primary activity on loop is not going to be banking so maybe Aya, let me ask you. <laughs> let, let's Aya, before to tumalize. There was a super app in Kenya called Ting. Mm-hmm. Whatever. What did you use to Ting? Yeah, Ting. It, it, Ting, the one from Switzerland that yes. just was called Mula, right? Yeah. Yes. What did you use to do on Ting? Buy tokens. Tokens. Where were? Uh I think I, I never used Ting. I used Ting for tokens, but I never used Ting. <laughs> Way faster yeah. than KPL. I used it for tokens and then wakati wali later Ting waka complicate na order gas na za pata a virtual card. Uh-huh. I just moved to another app. There is uh, this other app for tokens. What was it called? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mwangaza. Mwangaza. I just moved to Mwangaza yes. because I was using uh, Mula mm. just for the tokens. For the tokens. It yeah. was no brainer. It was free something i guess uh, i don't remember what, Ting, uh, Ting, uh, or, or even if you keep bodama ah ah mula it was mula it yeah. was mula by yeah. cellular and yeah. then yeah. 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 it was mula by cellular and it used to be an app that offered you could buy by the the very first time i used it uh-huh. was to buy airtel airtime For from my support like yeah, yeah 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 they replaced well, what yeah. was it and then they using. they they got the mpesa they got the super app bug yeah. and they brought tin which had so many things they are nice i signed up but i just realized it's not for me yeah. i just moved to mwangaza nikaendelea kununua tokens huko and equity already allows me to top up my airtel line yes so since i don't i use my safaricom line as my main line eh mimi si mtu akubeba simu mbili i'd carry two because i'm reviewing but for personal use it's just one phone one line so airtel line na kuanga secondary so sina aja ku top up kila siku yeah. and equity allows me to top it up when i want at no extra charge so, you have if, the my safaricom app kila mtu hapo mm-hmm. what do you do on your my safaricom app Mimi, my <laughs> Safaricom app uh, right now they discontinued the home fiber app yes. so it's for monitoring my home fiber, fiber. Uh, and two for paying for my Safaricom post pay up or you bus for mpesa i go to the yeah. mpesa app i don't use all the uh, you have the mpesa and also there is the cost calculator the mpesa app does not have a cost calculator, calculator. so i yeah. use the it's my Safaricom it's critical now yeah. but see my feature uko yeah. maybe i still use the cost calculator in the my Safaricom Safari app to check the transaction yeah before before i send I think I, that's what it. do you use the Mpesa app for? Still the Mpesa or Jana my Safaricom. Oh the Mpesa app of course sending money. Umwaifungwe NHIF. Jumbo jet. 
Also the super app model ala which at doesn't work in our market that was September 26th 2019 mm-hmm. I don't know what was happening at M-K. the same that, M-K. that uh, oh it was MK <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was MK <laughs> we we <laughs> still lost that will pay for yeah. time by ni 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 yeah lord we've seen, we, we've seen everything in this country haven't we <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i treated that and it's an opinion i still hold to date uh, it's not a hill i'm willing to no. die for people to uh, change opinions yeah, people, but uh, but so far i haven't seen anything that convinces me otherwise the examples i have to work with the super apps that we know little mm-hmm. uh, little has a gazillion things yeah. uh, i've been just commuting uh, out and about the the the, the last uh, what two months without a car and i use little cabs the little app for me is just for ordering rides period mm-hmm. i've never ordered a meal there i know you, you can, can order that. meals from little yeah yeah, okay. yeah. you can order meals <laughs> <laughs> you can order meals from little and recently you can even pay for your expressway oh yeah, uh, yeah. by a little yeah or bu or via little or uh, the mtc top ups or whatever via via little Imagine. like like you can i think you can even buy a, buy a person there like <laughs> <laughs> just so many things but me little for me will always be a ride hailing thing yeah something i keep asking myself with easy push the super apps ni you know uber mm-hmm. uber has uber eats and yeah. has uber yeah you will find notifications of uber eats on uber yeah. but it will always prompt you to use yeah why is it that company will believe nikifanya kila kitu kwa app moja nita attract more customers actually for the longest time i've not used uber i've not mm. been an uber customer because the customer uber service eats. was trash yeah. but i had uber eats and yeah. i order for myself for and it's people. just enough for ordering food you yeah. know it's for ordering food it's from uber you don't care about anything or even jumia mm. all jumia, those many jumia things jumia has. yeah yeah, yeah and, it makes more sense for a customer i believe to have app squeezes in as a quarter to mb the other so example I, uh, uh, mpesa mm. mpesa as we've known it it was just fine existing up on near my safari, my safari com. Mm. but for some reason they thought it needed to be standalone which is fine because mm. mpesa is big and now and there are talks about yeah. separating mpesa, mpesa from, from the safari. yeah from yeah. the telecommunication side of business so uh, mpesa is big on its own so it makes sense to have its app but when they made the app they called it the mpesa super app mm. what makes it the mpesa super app there are mini apps inside yeah, it exactly. those mini apps have nothing to do with with, uh, with what takes us to mpesa other yeah. than that there are services inside there that, that you can, can pay, pay via mpesa, via MPESA. But at least yeah. but at least I still use the Mpesa app yeah. daily because that, it that, works on its yeah. core function. So little yeah. super app I only use it for ride. Right. Mpesa super app I only use it for pay bill uh, the normal Mpesa functions. Which other super app do you have around? Yusasa apparently Yusasa I think Yusasa, Yusasa also Yusasa. became a super app. <laughs> yes. oh. Yeah I saw them uh <laughs> Nini promote ViewPay yeah. something of that sort. No the, there's a Opera Opera 2 became, became a, a super app, app I remember app. Uh, yeah and for me Opera will always be a browser mm. and w- <laughs> why specifically I'd recommend it on mobile is if you enjoy those two videos on Facebook yeah. Opera is the one mobile browser that allows you to download them natively yeah. and it will also save you your data, data. Yeah. and you need to work around your way around the many ads in a kanga mm. ka phoenix browser squeezy mm. but that's it really so are we really a market of the super I think app? the only super app that can win in kenya is if whatsapp decides to implement certain payment features good because, because we WhatsApp do everything on whatsapp yeah. Yeah. kazi yeah. salamu atanga harusi groups nini yeah. 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 Like you, everything works on whatsapp and people sell cars are, yes the escort services there people like with it's... instagram shops yeah, yeah. the integration for shops yeah. is fantastic yes So easy companies again I mean I feel like I'm on a waste. There's no day I will go to loop to pay for electricity to be honest. And there's a way to keep on your free. Akili yangu itakumbukanga tu triple eight triple eight mm-hmm. whatever na ni, my safari com ilisha win hapo ikanyekea yeah. bill manager. Mm-hmm. All my money will still be there. Unaelewa? There's no day nitaenda kwa loop kuangalia voucher yangu yenye yeah. nitacheck out nayo kwa kafu ama nini. It doesn't work. Do you think 
unaangalia anga bonga points zako za safari kwa unaanza kujembea you need to work harder and get it. <laughs> <laughs> or waking up and thinking i need to order coffee or the little app yeah, it, it never comes to mind that way yeah. but a loop you introduce rewards vouchers or if you transact more you are now on beginner level you know mm-hmm. it does not work like that I know. To be i mean even if i want to order to order groceries using mm. uh, i mean kafu yeah, kuna pia wake up yeah why do i need to the why do i need exactly and the thing they are not getting is for example if i'm ordering something online mm. ordering from the vendor himself is easier because i'll pay on delivery yeah yeah ingine it did request need lipe immediately mm. eh anyway ni mechok nikita nani hao tumo ni mona you guys have covered stories this week wame implement a pay on delivery platform send yes send yeah yeah, send. yeah. yeah. so yeah. imagine ukilipia na super app in a video check out na kitu yeah. kitu Anyway. In short, um it's easier for a social network, a social app to become a super, a app, super app because mm. of our social the social nature of how we live. Things, uh, I'll be here chatting with you and hey you need to send me money. It's mm. okay if it's a, a social media that, app uh, like we've seen Twitter has you can send money, money to creators, uh, you can send money to people. Yes. Cash app integration. Yes. Same and those integrations yeah. I think are what banks should be chasing. Yes. Loop will do so well chasing integration with whatsapp uh, look chasing at you dixon you are a, you are a creator yeah. you have a fan base wana shinanga kwambia sound si mzuri yeah. picture yeah. quality si mzuri yes. imagine if loop offered you a chance yeah. uh, for, for those fans of viewers yeah. to send you something yeah. they have it on the new app uh-huh. you can share your qr code and somebody send you uh-huh. See, not but that. that's not the solution you are looking no i'm looking for an integration built into things you're already using, yeah. already using. Yeah. Yes, like they could chase sense. they could chase a partnership with google yes. to have uh, like unana there's a certain um the feature a clientele of loop that yeah. it attracted in 2017 the, of course they've grown up and they've grown up with the app that's why they are very bitter about mm-hmm. the changes um a lot of those people and the enterprises they do loop could have looked to empower them while at the same time attracting a younger, younger clientele yes. 18 to 24 example, and they like loop chest an integration with say instagram yo a, yes a creator has something next mm-hmm. to your handle on instagram and it seamless handled by yes. the bank yeah, even the instagram bank. shops yes imagine those are better things to work on than destroying a user interface to mapenda for i don't know what reasons ah, so oh. if a company like meta wanted to go big with the super app they can actually rip big from it those ones can do it uh, 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 look at a good example I, i the enough times i i set up a new phone that i'm reviewing mm. and i only download the paint facebook app i never bother with messenger and i still get exactly. my messages yes, exactly. i'll still stay in touch with everyone yes. uh, yeah imagine look at instagram wakati instagram we launched ni 20 tulikuwa form 3 mini liko from 3 to 10 see you know do it as they but when they i think it is 2010 instagram was for photos mm. photos only now look at instagram you can p- send messages you can push videos yeah. you can promote stuff you can buy ads you can buy clothes you can go to the shop section you can do what it's so easy for them to become a payment platform of yeah. dhaka and those are the integrations that local banks should be chasing because they can handle all the other business themselves where can you unahitaji tu kufanya ni ku make sure transaction ina check out na ina work hizi vitu zingine are one adding a lot of work to the company yeah say so they have to maintain a whole lot of products within the app so oh, and make sure all those that are not there right now are going will, to work, will work. Yeah, yes. so there is a gazilla of yes. this then remember we are a market where our nini what is it called our operating system is fragmented in a very bad way So kuna mtu akona Android 7, kuna mtu akona Android 13. You mm. have to make sure this super app works across all that. Yeah. When you could just do payments nini we kwa tu bank wacha nilipe kitu simple wacha ni receive pesa tosha and that runs way better. Anyway, yeah, because you see like even uh, with my my uh, the Mpesa app, of course the mini apps are there. They are working like all, all of them actually But there are many apps in Safari come I maintain is of it too. Yeah. Yeah, they are maintained yeah, by, by their the respective owners. owners. Yes. And also that's why they they are mostly crap and because <laughs> the owners do a terrible terrible job. Uh gentlemen it's been a pleasure. Uh, um, let, me, let me there's a tweet I'm reading here from Kiruti. Mm-hmm. Okay, so please can we let super apps die? I understand they are trying to create an ecosystem but it has ended up to be a situation where there's a duplication of services. Well, Kiruti is speaking for me and I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to assume that we are many 
but I want to believe for the few of us that who understand what super apps are. He speaks for me and a few others in the room. And those few others, uh, I believe in a way, do represent what many wouldn't say because either they do not have the exposure or they do not have the exact terms yep. to describe. Mm -hmm. But they do vote with their fingers. When they're on their smartphones, touch screen, mm -hmm. there are specific places on the apps they use where they go and there are specific places where they don't go. And if anyone is taking feedback and they are tracing what their customers do, I believe they're able to see exactly that. Mm -hmm. Because if it's, say, uh, loan apps are big in Kenya, people do have specific loan apps. Yeah. Uh, those who are into investing, they do have specific investing options, short codes, apps to do that. Like we basically, uh, there used to be a saying in the early 2000s, there's an app for everything. It still applies today. It's not like there's, a, there's everything in one app. Uh, yeah. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. This is a very long discussion that we can't really exhaust in one sitting. So we we'll let it slide from here and the, the discussion can continue on other platforms where we have a presence. So if you are there, you can engage us. You can tell us what uh, from our ramblings that you didn't like, what you liked, what you think um, these institutions are doing right, what you think they're doing wrong. Is there a place for super apps in Kenya now, in the future? Uh, does the new loop work for you? Does it not work for you? There's a, a question Dixon asked uh, towards the ending of his articles. Now, what will happen to him? Will he leave? He said he's not. But what about you? Are you leaving? Are you staying? <laughs> the CEO said we should expect updates on a two-week or uh, fortnight basis. So, Yesterday was supposed to be the day there was uh, an update. It hasn't arrived. <laughs> so I'm still waiting. But Mimi, honestly, like more features, said, eh? uh, more features. <laughs> 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 Maybe like I said, uh, Loop went to be an inferior product for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the transaction charges, the fact that I have to move money and all that makes it an inferior product. And over time, I will slowly, if it doesn't go back to what it was, I'll slowly phase myself out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anik? Yeah, I'll, I'll stay for a while. Let me wait for the new update and see it's going gonna, it's gonna to fix a few of the complaints we people have raised. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm hoping, uh, you know, uh, the team from Loop really got this feedback. And I'm hoping they get to listen to this podcast because this is basically our review of the loop. Uh, yeah, the basically, loop in, in, exactly. in so many words, it's our review of yes. our experience using and the and new these loop. These are from people who have been using loop for the longest time now. So I hope they get to listen to this podcast and basically give us their feedback. Hopefully, we're gonna, if, if they wanna, they're willing to come and sit with us here and talk, you know, we're willing to. Uh, uh, the number one question I'd have for them if they ever agreed to come for a sit down with us is who is the new loop for? Yep. Yes. I understood who the, the old loop was for. Yeah, but and I don't know if it's a sign of the age that we are calling it the old loop, but I understood what loop was for. Who, well, maybe who loop just was for. Old, so I think maybe we are, we are too old and we just don't understand. You know, <laughs> we've been on this product for six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the way, on that other podcast we are referring to, they couldn't even get the time when loop started right. Anyway. <laughs> I'm Dixon at ChenzyManuel Chenzi Manuel and at Kenya.com. Canali from TechPrints. In the summer, we are old. Maybe now it's time for us to go take our Please share. <laughs> Please share this podcast fan, right? Thank you for listening in. See you.